For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where they want you to determine the smallest force F that must be applied along the rope in order to cause a curved road uh, which has a radius of 4 meters to fail at support A and this happens when the moment has a magnitude of 1500 newton meters so you know that the moment that F creates about A is going to be it's going to have a magnitude of 1500 newton meters you also know that the moment that F creates about A is equal to this vector that goes from A to the point where the force is applied cross the Cartesian vector form of F which obviously is not given we're trying to find that so first let's find all the points involved we got point A which sits at 0i plus 0j plus 4k we got B which has an x component a y component and a c component the y component is obviously 0 the x component sits at 4 sine of 45 and the c component sits at 4 cosine of 45 sine of 45 and cosine of 45 are the same and it comes out to be 2.83 2.83 so this comes out to be 2.83i plus 0j plus 2.83k and point c it's another point that's involved and it sits at 6i plus 6j plus 0k so we need to find the vector that goes from a to b and that is given by b minus a and it comes out to be 2.83 in the i plus 0 in the j minus 1.17 in the k that's our first vector our second vector is the Cartesian vector form of F but we don't even have the magnitude of F so what we do know is that the Cartesian vector form of F is given by whatever would what be the magnitude of F times a univector that goes along this trajectory which is going to be univector that goes from B to C to find this univector we need to find first the vector that goes from B to C which is vector C minus vector B and it's 3.17i plus 6j minus 2.83k then you need to find the magnitude of this vector which is found by doing the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square all square rooted when you plug in these three values into this formula you get that the magnitude is equal to 7.35 now that you have the vector and the magnitude you can find the univector pc by dividing the vector by its magnitude and that will give you this tiny vector with a magnitude of 1 right here and it comes out to be 0.431i plus 0.816j minus 0.385k and you know that the magnitude of f times this univector gives you the Cartesian vector form of f so this is equal to 0.431f in the i plus 0.816f in the j minus 0.385f in the k so minus here so you know that the moment that f creates about a is given by the cross product of a b and f the cross product of a b and f you draw your matrix j k first number is AB which is 2.83 0 negative 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17 1.17
and at the second part we put our Cartesian vector form of f which is 0.431f 0.816f negative 0.385f so you redraw your first and second column 2.83 0 0.431f 0.816f so now you do your positive diagonals these are positive 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 so i times 0 times 0.385f is 0 j times negative 1.17 times 0.431 is negative 0.504f j k times 2.83 times 0.816 is positive 2.31f in the k. Now your negative diagonals 0.431 times 0 times k is 0 negative 0.816 times negative 1.17 times i is positive 0.954 in the i negative negative 0.385 times 2.83 times j is positive 1.09 f j and there is an f here in this i they all have the f so when you add them together you're gonna get that the moment that f creates about a is given by 0.954 f in the i plus 0.586f in the j plus 2.31f in the k. Now how do we solve this problem? You know that the magnitude is given which is 1500 newton meters. That's the magnitude required to break this rod. And you know that the magnitude, let me write it right here so I have more space you know that the magnitude of this or any vector for that matter is given by the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square all square rooted this is the x component this is the y component this is the c component so you know that this which is 1500 is equal to the square root of 0.954 f square plus 0.586f square plus 2.31f square all square rooted so basically I plug in these three values including the variable f into this formula and basically you know you square them and you uh, add them up together you get that this is equal to 6.58f square and this is 1500 so this is 1500 is equal to 2.57 f and f is equal to 584.3 newtons and this is the force that would break this rod because this is the force that will create this moment anything greater than this would also break the rod obviously so final answer for the force. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.